guys. So today I'm going to do my July favorites. I am so excited because I have some products here that I have not only been loving, I've been like obsessed with this month. So I feel like this month is the one month that I can really say these products have dominated my life. That's very dramatic, but you know what I mean. Um, so the first product is actually one from um, a video I did was that the last video or two videos ago? And this is an LA Colors lipstick in Sorbet. And this is the color. And on my blog post that I did, which I'll link down below, I think I'm called this color a throw in my purse color because it is just, it's slightly shimmery, but not too much. Um, I think it's a really nice color. It looks really flattering on many skin tones. And also the formula is super moisturizing, so it's almost like a balm but almost like a tinted lip balm. So you can just throw it on and you don't really need a mirror to apply it. So this has been in my purse and almost every time that I've needed to put something on my lips, it's been this. So yeah. Then um, another beauty product that I have been loving is the Pixie. This is called Subtly Sun Touched. And this is a bronzer, but it's got a bit of shimmer in it. And I like to reserve these types of products for summertime when you can get away with a bit more shimmer or glow. I've actually run out of a, a matte bronzer that I was trying to use up. It was like a NYC one that I was trying to use up because I'm not purchasing their products anymore. So I am in the market for a new matte bronzer. If you have any suggestions, let me know down below uh, because I've been just using this to give myself a little bit more color along with the uh, Bare Minerals, the warmth. I've used that as well. So that's nice. Then the blush that I've been using all month is this NYX blush. And this is in the color Mocha. And if you look at it, probably on camera, it's showing up pretty dark. But really, when you put it on, it's very, very natural. It has kind of like a plummy undertone. This is very similar to a MAC blush that's called Plum Something. I'll have to find it. But I find it's really natural and just a little goes a long way. So I've been using this every day. Makes It's really good for like work too because it doesn't have any shimmers, so it looks really professional. Uh, another powder. I have a lot of powder products I have been loving. This is an old... Uh, product that I hadn't picked up in a while, but this is the e.l.f. Complexion Perfection uh, Powder. And you see it has uh, four colors there, pink, blue, yellow, and green. And this is really good. I like to use this as a finishing powder, or I like to use the separate ones, uh, like the yellow to set my under eye concealer, the green to put with a little bit of concealer on some red spots, and then these two... Um, the pink and the blue are brightening, but sometimes I just use it as a finishing powder. It's really smooth. When you swirl it all around, it really has just like a, you know, not really a much of a color, more of a yellow tint than anything, which would correct some, some color correction if you needed it. But yeah, I got this a really long time ago, and I just was looking through my collection, so I'm glad I picked this up. I've been using it almost every day. Then for skincare, um, I think I just, I don't know if it's up yet, but I just did a review for the Raw Essentials Moisturizing Face Serum. This has been, if there's one skincare product that I've used every day, twice a day, it's been this. Sometimes if I felt that my skin didn't need it, I wouldn't use a, a moisturizer because this is so nice. So look out for that video. Uh, yeah, Raw Essentials Face Serum, amazing. Uh, then... Of course, I think this video is also up to is my Tree Hut Sugar Shea Scrub, Shea Sugar Scrub <laughs> in Passion Fruit Guava. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. I could smell this scent forever. It is so good. Uh, such a great exfoliator. Love it. It's super um, cheap, like seven, under $7. So yeah, amazing. Then the one like food product, kind of food product I have is me and my husband order Illy Coffee online. Um, if you haven't tried Illy Coffee, it is really delicious. It's really nice. It gives you like a cafe quality in your home. And I've been doing a little project that I'll talk about in another video. But basically I'm trying to um, cut down on some expenses that I've been a bit frivolous with. And coffee is one of them. I love coffee. I love to get coffee from cafes. But I've been trying to make my own iced coffee at home. And so I found a method to make it that's as strong as uh, your Starbucks or wherever. And by using Illy Cafe, um, Illy Coffee, sorry, I find that I'm getting the great coffee house coffee, but without the price. I'm saving, you know, 15 bucks a week or something on my coffee runs. 
So yeah, this is the medium roast. We also have the espresso roast, which is really good if you're looking for a strong cup of coffee. So yeah. So those are my favorites for this month. Oh wait, I forgot one more. <laughs> I have this perfume that, oh, it smells so good. I got it in Brazil. It's by Alchemia. I got it in a, I want to say Casas Americas. I think that's the store that I got it in. But this is called the Romantic, I guess Notes is the type of, um, the line by Alchemia, the Romantic scent. This has such a great scent. It smells really fresh, but also kind of sensual. Um, I actually bought two of them because when I smelled it in the store, it was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to go through this so fast. So I don't know if I can get this in the States, which I'm really sad because when this one runs out, oh, I guess I'll just have to go back to Brazil. But if you're Brazilian and watching this, and or if you're American or Brazilian living in America, and you know where I can get the Alchemia perfume, let me know. I would be so happy. Um, but yeah, those are my um, July favorites, and this is a month that I can really say that all of these products were my like tried and true uh, must-haves for the month of July. So I'd love to hear what your July favorites are. You can leave them down below. I'll also leave my blog and Twitter if you'd like to check that out. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and yeah, I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!